Hello guys, welcome to a new video. So I might get emotional and I really don't want to. I have been doing my fair share of crying for sure. Sure it looks it. I'm just having like genuinely a hard time. As you guys know, I met my girlfriend in person and like for the lack of a better word, like it was just magical, like truly magical. And it just, I haven't felt that happy in forever. Sorry. You know, finally being with someone like, that I feel like isn't ashamed of me. Like, it just felt really good. And so, like, I posted her on my Instagram, as you guys saw. I also posted her on TikTok. And I can't even tell you how much support we got. Like, it was a lot. Like, majority of you are literally the sweetest, like, ever. So thank you, like, from the both of us, truly. Like, a lot of you saw the happiness and saw the love just in a 16-second clip. Oh, look who's back with a new life update. As if we were all sitting on the edge of our seats, wondering what Amberlynn Reed's latest chapter in the never-ending saga of questionable decisions might be. And hold on to your hats, folks. She's got a new girlfriend. Tommy. Yes. Tommy. Tommy because nothing says healthy relationship like a rebound straight into the arms of someone who probably Googled how to score snapback budget quick before sliding into those DMs. Now, uh, I'm not saying Tommy's in it for the money, but let's be real here. Amberlynn's love life is like a revolving door at a fast food joint. There's always someone leaving with a full stomach and someone else walking in thinking they've hit the jackpot. And Tommy? I'm just wondering if she's got a thing for lumpy, leaky lymph legs, or if she's just playing along until that inevitable, we decided to mutually part ways Instagram post. We all know how this ends. With a mountain of snapbacks and the latest edition of, I thought this time was different. And speaking of different, Tommy girl, if you're reading this, just post the nudes already. Don't be shy. We know Amber sent you some tasteful pics, probably hoping you wouldn't sprint for the hills the first time you saw her in all her uh, glory. But hey, no judgment. We've all been there, right? Well, maybe not there there, but somewhere in the general vicinity of bad decisions and regrettable choices. I'm just saying, if you've got the goods, don't be scared to share. After all, this is the internet, the place where nothing really dies and everyone's got receipts. So, here we are, watching The Amberlynn Show, season 4867, where the plot never thickens, but the waistlines do. Pour yourself a drink, folks. It's going to be a wild ride. Or, you know, just another day in the life of Amberlynn Reed, where uh, the only thing that changes faster than her relationship status is the color of her snapbacks. Cheers to that. So thank you for that. Like, trust me, there's a lot of it. A lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy when we're together. Like... It just, it feels magical to me. And it's like, you guys know, I don't post my girlfriends online because people are crazy. <laughs> people ruin it. They absolutely ruin it without a doubt. But I remember there was a discussion that me and my girlfriend had. She literally asked me like, is it important for you that your partner is in your videos? And I said, in fairy tale world, yes like yeah that would be really nice for me but realistically i would understand if my partner did not want to be in my videos i will never force someone to do that and she said literally because it's important to me that's why she would be willing to be in my videos and it just meant a lot it was very like selfless of her that's just one example of like the way that she loved all right so picture this slommy tommy not just any ordinary feeder but maybe a straight up serial killer with a taste for whales. If she were Japanese, this would totally track somewhere between a weird horror film and the dark side of a cooking show. But instead of sashimi, we're talking about amber sized servings. Slami could be out there stalking her prey with a bib and fork in hand, ready to feast on the emotionally vulnerable and eternally hungry. It's a messed up mental image, but hey, we're all just here for the popcorn, right? Now, if Slami is indeed a feeder, Amberlynn is probably doing cartwheels in her head because we know, we know that's the only place she's capable of doing one. She can finally ditch the I'm really trying to lose weight, guys, and go full throttle into her true passion, eating until her stomach could double as a human-sized trash bag. And the best part? She doesn't even have to pretend anymore. That's right, no more feigned enthusiasm for broccoli or cringeworthy moments with a treadmill. 
Meanwhile, Mommy Lynn is sitting there, clutching her pearls, wondering where it all went wrong. Was it the injections? The constant enabling? Or maybe just the fact that Amber's life is like watching the worst episodes of My 600 Pound Life on repeat. Poor mom's finally waking up to the cycle. That endless loop of self-destruction and denial that we've all come to know and, well, tolerate. Amber's got about zero chances of finding someone who genuinely loves her at her size, unless, of course, she's in the middle of another health crisis. That's when the sympathy rolls in, and suddenly she's the dainty girl she always wanted to be, at least until her partner's support kicks her back into delusion land where everything is marshmallows and rainbows. It's me. Like, when you see something that's important to your partner, you kind of want to, like, make that happen for them. And she wanted to do that for me, and I thought that was super sweet. So we were super excited to post that video on Instagram and TikTok. And again, the love and support has been just so appreciated but then there has been a lot that has happened since i posted it and it's literally just a 16 second clip and it has validated every fear that i've ever had about showing a partner on my videos or just on social media in general there are so many rumors being made up about her things that are just like wild obviously i have not heard every single rumor so i can't sit here and deny or confirm every single thing because literally it's just a lot but i do want to talk about some of the rumors that i have heard because i feel like that's super important so the first thing is all right buckle up because this ride is about to take a dark turn let's get real here if there's one thing amberlyn reed has mastered it's hitting the drama button on her life and sure, we all remember the less than charming moments when she's thrown around the hit her with a closed fist energy like it's her personal love language. It's like watching a soap opera where the lead character can't decide if they want to be the villain or just stuck in perpetual cringeworthy limbo. So now we've got Slommy Tommy, who might just be the new girlfriend in Amber's life. And from what we've seen, if there's a sequel to Amberlynn's Poor Choices, it might be titled Domestic Drama, the return of the slap fest. If Slommy Tommy is indeed a feeder, Amber can now feast to her heart's content without the pesky worry of actually having to live through the weight loss parade. She can just sit back, relax, and let the calories roll in like it's her job. But let's not forget the tactical analysis because this is where things get a bit spicy. Amber's weighing in at over 500 pounds, which means she's more of a human boulder than a ninja. She's got hip flexibility, but not a lot of balance or power behind those arm swings. And let's be real, her range of motion around the knees is about as limited as her ability to successfully pull off a cartwheel. So, Slami's job just got easier. She's got the height advantage and can easily stay out of Amber's arm range while keeping close enough to strike. Amber's strategy would be classic, small shuffling steps and the occasional winded slap. Slami's counter strategy, sidestep, avoid the heavy blows and hit those knees and thighs with precision. Forget headbutts, a solid kick to the knee will do the job just fine. And as long as Slami's dodging flying cans of code red and coffee accessories, she should be good. Amber's proven that a well-aimed Keurig K-cup holder is enough to send her into a dramatic collapse. So, Slami, if you're taking this battle to the next level, live stream that drama. Give the world a show they won't forget. Because in the end, we're all just here for the chaos and the popcorn-worthy moments. Amber's life might be a train wreck, but it's certainly one we can't seem to look away from.